hello hello everyone hello my wonderful awesomely awesome beautiful people of the most high god good morning good afternoon good evening how are we all doing today i am bringing you greetings and it's on the name of the father of the son and of the holy ghost let the peace of my father the peace that surpasses all human understanding be your portion and my portion in the mighty name of jesus amen to all my returning amazing subscribers Mwah. you guys are simply the best what could i have done without you without you there is no us and that is the truth and to everyone that has not subscribed to this channel and you come across us on youtube can you please hit the red subscription button and the notification bell so you get notified when we do upload new videos i am juliana of this juliana tv in this channel we talk about god charity love life relationships and every health related matter so guys hop on board join us and let's do this together guys today our series on angels continues and today we are actually going to talk about types of angels. Child of the Most High God, angels are created by God and given a higher authority than we do here on earth. They live in the spiritual realm. They exist in the heavenly realm. They do not exist here. However, some of the angels are messengers of God that carry messages from heaven down here to us. Now, we talk about the type of angels, and we have noted that there are four types of angels. We have the seraphim, we have the cherubims, we have the archangels, and then the fallen angels. I take it again, four types of angels that are very, very noted. The seraphim, the cherubim, the archangels, and then the last of them all is the fallen angels. The cherubims are noted as having six wings, one, two, three, four, five, six, and their shape is like a burning fairy, burning fire. So they are noted as fiery beings, fiery beings that can you just imagine, just visualize it in your spiritual eyes, what these things are like like a body of fire standing there that is what a, a seraphim is can you now imagine seeing that with your physical eye child of god that is why some of them do not appear to us in their state that god created them they have to take the shape of a human or they will come to us even in the dream in different shapes so this thing is like fire a child of god and I'm, I'm not sure what he what it will be like for you to even see it with your two eyes child of the most high god and so the prophet Isaiah talks about them. He says, he talks about these angels that God was sitting on his throne and the seraphims, they were actually flying around God. Can you imagine now? Just imagine it. A throne, God is sitting on his throne and these angels are just flying, flying, flying around him. That is what the book of Isaiah is saying. And the angels were flying around him saying, so the angels are saying as they're flying around God, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Isaiah, prophet Isaiah will go further to tell us that these angels has their six wings. Two of their wings were covering their eyes. So do you not know that these angels were not even supposed to see God? God, the God of creation, the angels had to cover their eyes so they don't see God. And they covered their feet, child of God. And, oh my Jesus. And they were flying, flying with there are two wings child of god can you imagine what this thing will look like even you seeing it as a child of god child of god that would be so 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 a scary thing to do so this see so these are the seraphims powerful beings fairy beings the bible calls them they are like a ball of fire yes they are like fire and they, these things are these spirits, yes, this, these beings, supernatural beings, they are flying around all over God, all over God, just saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, my Father, my Maker. Our God is too good. Our God is too good. Jesus is God. Jesus is powerful. Yes, God the Father, God the Son, and the God the Holy Spirit, three persons in one God. Jesus is powerful. God is the most powerful thing ever. God, child, God, 
most powerful being, creator of the heavens and earth, child of God. We really truly need to know this God for who he is. He has all the powers, the powers to make what, the powers to make rich. The angels are circulating, paying homage to him. That homage is God, the one that lives in the heavens. So that is what this Bible is telling me. And you, I read this thing and I was just blown away. I was like, wow, this is something. Can you imagine a ball of fire before God just circulated? Hovering around, hovering around, hovering around, paying homage 24-7. That is why the Bible says we can never get tired of praising God. Hey, Jesus, have a mercy. Child of the Most High God, this is awesome. I'm praying for you to receive a divine visitation. Even after, before this series will finish, let the God of heaven visit you. Let the message from heaven come to you through his angels, child of God. Stay at last. Stay at last so you can receive it. Because they might be trying to come, but you don't even have time for them. That is why you got to position yourself so the Father can take over. Yes. So the Father can visit. So divine visitation. So angels will come to your doorpost, child of God. And you will receive the prayers you have been praying for 100 years. You will just receive it in one day. And you will be like, wow, but God is there. We talk, we heard about Sarah, Sarah and Abraham waiting for years and years and years. Even in their donkey years, their old age, that was when the angel came. The angel came and spoke and it happened, child of God. These angels are powerful beings that God has sent to deliver message. They don't deliver it and it does not happen. This is why we got to believe. These angels, angels are real. Angels are real, fiery figures with their eyes. My goodness, what an awesome God we serve. We're talking about the seraphims, angels, that prophet Isaiah described to us. Six wings, flying, flying with their two wings. How, they are, how are they even doing that? You covered your eyes and you're flying around. I guess they already, they're aware of the, 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 the depth of their surroundings. Yes, their perception, I guess they already know. Because they're circling around the God of heaven. Circling, just circling around. Wow, amazing, amazing child of God. I am just blown away by this. But anyway, God will bless us. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening to this upload i am so grateful because you are helping us we are able to help others may god bless you guys because you are helping us we are able to help others feed people on the streets clothe people and do all manners of stuff because of your help so that is why jehovah will continue blessing you in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you guys for your help remember faith hope and love the greatest of them all is love remember you have to love god serve god and you have to bless humanity oh yes who is hungry help them to feed who is naked help them to clothe who needs your love make sure you shower it to them and god will bless you as you do these things in his kingdom in the name of jesus amen be kind to yourself be kind to each other remember love god serve god bless humanity and all your gettings get understanding let wisdom be your portion in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen I am Juliana and I am signing out right this very moment and I will see you at my next upload. Have a beautiful one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.